Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Platforms, a mod that uh, basically adds a lot of different options for you to be able to craft things up and make them a little bit prettier and nicer in the world. So as you can see here, I have built this tower of doom. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, just a little tower for demonstration purposes. Uh, basically, the Platforms mod will add in unique blocks. Uh, that takes vanilla materials as well as some others, perhaps, that you can specify in the configs and create things like ramps, uh, your platforms themselves, uh, support structures, handrails, uh, and so on. And if, if I can get up to the top here, you can see we've got like some handrails going on on the side. It, it's actually really, really nice, uh, and you can make it out of all sorts of different materials. We've got some uh, different like ramps and handrails going on here as well. I'm not showing you everything that there is, but I mean, here you go. There's like some of the support ones that there are. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, in fact, uh, you can change how they are oriented and make them all kind of fit together better and so on. But uh, let, let's let's get into this mod itself, like the, the beginnings of it. The Your recipe is somewhat basic, just some iron, uh, some red dye, and a crafting table will make you the this platformer, which is actually very, very neon pink. Um, <laughs> it's a bit bright, but then again, it's more a tool than anything else. So you could probably, once you're done with it, hide it away if it's not uh, akin to your project that you're working on. But it can be automated, uh, and it also comes with a tool, the monkey wrench, uh, which the monkey wrench is made in a similar fashion as well, just a bit more iron red. Uh, and it, it's got this really crazy looking interface. It's not that bad, really. I mean, if you look here on the side, this is the materials that you will want to make the different objects from. Uh, first, let me show you the different types of things. I mean, if you see here, we've got a stone riser or rise which is really just kind of like a barrier uh, on the side. It's not going to have this nice smooth slant to it like this does here with the handrail. That is a handrail. Uh, but it, as you see here, there we go, stone handrail. Uh, we've got our platforms, which is just something like this down here, a flat piece on top. And then, of course, you've got your slants, which you saw on there. And then you've got your stone floors, which the bottom of that can be changed around uh, as well. A lot of these can be changed around. And, of course, your stone frames. Um, now, I'm, I'm just using cobblestone in here for now as an example. Uh, if I want, I can actually change this up to be something a little bit more interesting, like, uh, you know, nether brick there. Or I can grab a bit of this and change it back to, whoops, and change it back to uh, cobblestone. You can change it out to be whatever you like. We can do this, and we can do some of this. And it, it, it's not going to accept all blocks. Like if I take some wool, I don't think it actually uses wool. It'll default to a wooden texture and blank it out. So therefore, you actually will have to, uh, well, uh, kind of be specific about what you want. But like I said, you can actually change what blocks are applicable in the configs. Now, you've seen a bunch of the different things that you can make. Uh, you can make it with two different materials, which is great. So you can make a two-tone uh, color approach like I did here. I've got like an oak and a dark oak. It's actually really, really kind of cool. Uh, I, I like it a bit, uh, quite a bit. Uh, or you can go with something more singular like I did over there. I had the pure white banisters and platforms and everything. Now, you've got some other items over here that might be a little bit confusing to do. But uh, let, let's let's look at the options here. You've got your information here, which actually this is the perfect uh, description for how to how everything actually works. It tells you each of the different slots and what they're doing. Now, because I've already got this thing entirely full, basically your, your materials that you want to use in the bottom here, you put the materials you want to make it from in the specific order so you can detail it in the colors you want on the side. And then you scroll through the things you want and you pull it out of this number two area here. Now, you also have a number four and a number three. If we look over here, number uh, four up here, this little block, is actually like an overflow. I currently have it being piped out via another mod, a Thermal Dynamics to be specific, and it's all going in here. You can see that I scrolled through a few things and it made a few other extras, but currently it's making more stone risers slowly over time because it is being fed in. This is like a recycle bin. Uh, if I were to grab some of these stone handrails, I'm like, crud, I, I needed risers, not or rises, not the handrails. Well, you can take those out. As long as there's space in here to do this, might be able to do it fast enough. It recycled them. You can see it sped that up really quick and, and filled that up as well. 
So that that's kind of how that works. It's really neat. So if you make something that you didn't want to, you're like, oh, crud, I wanted this nice, smooth, slanted handrail instead of the rises. That That's pretty much how you do it. It's very, very good that way. Uh, now, of course, like I said before, you've got all these things that tell you all this stuff, but there's more. If you click on the little cog here, it'll actually have like uh, up, down, south, east, north, and west sides. So it helps if you have something like journey map or if you use your F3 options to find, uh, you know, your directions if you have a little trouble with that. But this will tell you your different things on here. Now, currently, I have these black ones are disabled. And if you hover over it, it will tell you the different ones, storage, in, out. I've got my buffer and crafting out, so it's going down out the bottom. And the buffering is also being pulled out as well. On this side here, the east and west, I have uh, basically storage is going in and out. So you're going to want to be careful, though, if you're using hoppers, because uh, if you have a redstone signal activating any of this thing, it, it may stop the hopper as well, which is going to be a little bit challenging to try and activate one and not the other. But if you have something that automatically pulls out like a servo on a thermodynamics pipe, for example, then it should be fine, or like an XNet cable or whatever else you have for some kind of item transportation. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you can mess around with this as much as you want. You can see, oh no, I just messed up all this stuff. It's, it's terrible. Oh, wait, it's back to exactly what it was. You have to click on the little save icon for it to actually do anything. So you can scroll through your different options. Here we go, deconstruction in out. So you can have, when you deconstruct something, instead uh, it can go to a different area as well. Then you just click on the icon and it will save the uh, settings that you have. It's pretty easy. You can see things are just kind of flowing down, 36, 35, etc. And it's scrolling into the item hopper. I just wanted to show that you can use vanilla and you can use modded with this. Now, the monkey wrench. This is where the mod really gets a lot more detailed and it can be a bit confusing. If I hold it in my offhand, it's where you best are with it. And then you hold a platform of some type. If you look at my hotbar, I've got a bunch of uh, different wooden platforms, for example. But if I have this in my offhand, it's the better choice. Now, looking at this, you've got your rotation. I just click on it. You can rotate. You can see that these don't match anymore. So you have some options with this, or you can alternate it uh, as you desire. And now, if I hold shift and then right click, the block will change and you'll see that it's now kind of well like a, a, a miter joint then you click it again and it will just change the style that the, uh, the uh, boards are at so that they can match up better with an adjacent block and it'll do the reverse on the other side and switch again and then you go into something like this and it's like well what the heck is that why do I have a couple of toothpicks sticking out the side that's for something like a rise if you look here I can add this on there which is pretty darn cool now if I were to break this, uh, I'm currently in creative, so it's just going to break the entire block. So just keep that in mind. But even if I wasn't, it'll break both and you'd get both blocks back. Uh, so if I place this back down again, holding the wrench, I get an outline. If I'm not holding the wrench in my offhand, I don't get the outline. So this is why the wrench is the most handy thing there is, because it will help save a lot of time of placing over and over again the blocks that you want so because if you look if i aim a little to the left it changes the the style and how this thing is placed basically anywhere in the middle you'll get like a full block on either of the sides you'll get the uh, side blocks so let's place this down and then i'll use the uh, wrench again with shift click or shift right click to cycle through and there are some other options as well you can see i can actually add in uh the handrail here and i could finish off this thing with a nice like a little little finished handrail edge at the very end there so it doesn't look quite so just like sliced off at the tip and I can continue on with this you know just kind of let's, let's do this here see if I can actually find another one and oh no it's on the wrong side that's right I just let off shift I can rotate it around it matches up and then I can place another one down but there's more than that that you can do now if I continue cycling through you see here if I place down a, uh, a wooden riser or a handrail it can do that. And yes, I can circle these things around after the fact. So once you place something, you can still do that without being able to see what it is beforehand. Um, hovering over it will only give you a few options. It won't give you all the options. As you notice, I was cycling through quite a lot of things here. Uh, so this just kind of, you know, air makes it a little bit more yeah, just easier in general to place. So if you have five clicks to get to the exact uh, setup that you need to get uh, this thing to line up with the rest of these. Yes, this took me a while. Um, <laughs> then it's it's best if you place it first, 
when it's in the right spot. And of course, you can see I've, I've got a whole bunch of these. Some of these ones you can actually climb on the sides of them uh, if you have these things nearby. Now, the ramps, it's not going to work uh, with, but if you have the, uh, what is it, the platform, the floors and the uh, frames and the rises, uh, those are all going to allow you to climb on the side of them like a ladder. So they can be uh, kind of like a, a structure just for getting up two places. I mean, right now I'm pressing up against a handrail and it doesn't let me do this, but it doesn't let me climb uh, on top of it. But if I were to place something like a wooden rise, uh, it would allow me to do so. Let's, let's put one of those up here and you can see I can just pressing forward, I'm instantly walking up and climbing on top of this thing. And of course, because I'm in creative, I can drop down and we can take a look at the different things we have going on under here. The platform is a little bit uh, different to try and rotate around. It will take you a little bit of time if you want things to be like all slanted because a lot of the time it will try and look uh, more complete. I mean, this took me forever. The thing that you do want to know is that uh, it doesn't do diagonals very well. The, um, the wooden floors aren't too bad, but you're not going to get a ramp on a diagonal. Those are pretty much going to be north, south, east, west, and that's about it. And this is just a wonderful little aesthetic mod. I really enjoyed. Uh, it was a lot of fun uh, to play around with this and like I was messing around with it on all the mods and um, I thought I would showcase it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always spread the mischief to others if you think they'll enjoy this kind of content too. And until next time folks, I'll see ya.